This wavy talk curling iron is viral on TikTok. I personally see it literally 10 times a day as I'm scrolling TikTok. So I decided to buy it so that we know if it's worth it or not. There are versions of the wavy talk that don't come apart. Like they're all just one piece, but I decided to buy the $45 pack on Amazon. That's like the wand. And then it comes with different attachments. There's a one inch attachment. There's this one, which I know I'll never use, but it's still in there. This one I'm for sure going to use because I love a one and a half inch barrel. And then this tiny one, which is super fun, but again, I probably will only use the round brush option if I like it. Like I said, I did buy the $45 Amazon one, but I think on TikTok, like you can buy a Wavy Talk hairbrush curl and iron for like, I don't know, apparently $15 or something like that. While it's warming up, I wanted to go over all of my favorite hair products. I am not like a high maintenance hair person. I don't even do my hair every day, but I am a gym goer and a mom. So I'm looking for high volume hair. I love a good like blowout look. Um, that's quick, easy, like under 10 minute hair. I want my hair to smell good. Obviously want it to stay in place all day long. So today my hair is like, uh, I think this is the second day out from a wash. I worked out the last two days, um, but I didn't get very sweaty. I'm not like a super sweater, so that part isn't very concerning. However, one of my favorite dry shampoos, which I don't use dry shampoo every day, but I tend to use it like every two or three days. This one is Eva NYC. I also really like Kristen S, which you can get at Target. Comment below any other dry shampoos that you love. Because I am a volume lover, the two best ways to get that, I feel in my experience, I love this big round brush um, hair dryer. It's the Revlon one. It went viral a couple of years ago and I use it probably once a week, like usually on church day. Hot rollers are probably my number one way to get volume and get like a really, I don't, I don't even know what to call it, like a Victoria's Secret blowout look. Volume, curl, I've had these hot rollers since high school, I think. On a daily basis, I use a one and a half inch barrel for like a blowout look, but again, I don't get the volume, so that's not my favorite way to get it. Or I use this one inch barrel for like a more wavy look, so. I just started using heat protectant and this one is the Ava NYC. However, I'm not really sure if I like it. Comment below if you have a favorite heat protector. I wouldn't call myself an expert on heat protectant. However, I am an expert on trying a bunch of different brands, a bunch of different products. So I've tried people's like viral favorites and just ones that I found like randomly, but these are my favorite hair products to use. I love this Bumble and Bumble thickening spray. You just spray it in mostly your roots and just like your hair when it's damp, it adds a lot of volume and just a little bit of texture. Any Kristen S product is usually my favorite because it smells good and it's really affordable. Again, you can get it at Target. I am still on the hunt for a hairspray that smells amazing and also holds in the Florida humidity. So comment below if you have any suggestions, um, but I do like this Moroccan oil for the smell and the hold is pretty good too. Lastly, if you've never tried It's a 10 on your wet hair, I highly, highly, highly recommend it does something to your hair that just makes it like shiny and soft and it also smells really good. If you are a slick back hair girly, then I highly recommend this wax stick. This is like the bedhead one. I got it on Amazon, but you just, this one's used, but if you like a really like tight pony or you need to smooth down some of your flyaways, then you just like stick it on, I guess, wax it on to your hair and it smells really good. It looks nice and shiny. It does leave a greasy residue though, so just watch out for that. All right, let's get started. I am looking for volume and curl. That's all we're looking for. I will say it feels really hot and that's one thing that people did say was like wrong with it. It just gets really hot. So make sure you wear your heat protectant and then I have it on level two just because I wanted to see how hot it actually got. Also, don't get your hair stuck. I have like pretty long hair, so I feel like, ooh, okay. I don't know if I see the volume yet, but I definitely like the level of curl that it gives. Let's try it, oops. Let's try it in my bangs. I'm trying to like spin it at the root because that's obviously like where I want volume. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, 
Okay, that's when everybody starts to love it is when they do their little bangs right here. That's a really good curl. I don't know if you know that, but that's really good. All right, I'm gonna do my whole head and we'll just check it at the end for our final thoughts. So two things that I'm noticing, it is kind of like a user, I don't know, you just have to learn it a little bit. Um, so I'm learning as I go, but it definitely gives a very, very soft, shiny look. I have really straight hair, so I don't know how it would be for like curly haired girls, but I have seen really, really good results, at least on TikTok for curly haired people or just like wavy frizzy hair people because it almost acts like a straightener of sorts when you brush through it here are the final results i didn't i spent like a lot of time on it this time to just really get a good feel for how it works and if you guys will like it at home but as far as how it looks right now being that normally my hair just looks like a grease ball i really really like this a lot i love this level of curl I thought the barrel was gonna be bigger, so I gotta check my order and make sure that there's not like a bigger size, because again, I like, I thought this would be bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> but I, I really, really like this. If you want that shiny, vol voluminous look, I think you'll really, really like this. Is it worth $45? I don't know, maybe I, I would, I think the brush attachment is gonna be the one that I'm most going to use. The other attachments, if you don't have things like that, which I, I already do, so that's why I probably won't use those. If you don't have those attachments, I think that this would be a great tool for you to get like a, a lot of bang for your buck. Um, my only thing is it doesn't get too hot. That's my opinion, it's fine. Didn't burn my hands at all. This attachment like comes off and on, so there is a separation here. People said your hair gets stuck a little bit. It does occasionally, but not as bad as what I thought. Like I thought it would actually get stuck. It doesn't get stuck. And it doesn't get tangled. It doesn't get stuck in here. Like I don't think there's a big risk of burning your hair on this. Overall, it's a yes from me. Comment below if you have it and you use it a lot or like what your review is over time. I'll try to recap on Instagram whether I keep using it, but I'm pretty sure I will because I really like this. My only thing is like, I kind of want a little bit more volume up here. I'm getting it, but I think I might have to continue to like play with the tool just to see how it goes over time. Maybe try to buy it off TikTok, get it at a cheaper price, see if you like it, but I would buy it again. Thanks for watching, make sure you're subscribed and let me know if there's any other product that you want me to review in the future. Like this video, you're worth it. All right, so as the videographer, Gosh, don't bring I need to uh, try this out too. How do I do this? Wait, so so you go like this though? Oh. Yeah, you could, you can do it under. But, oh, see? Oh, yeah. Look at that, approved. Uh,